so much pressure the pressure on cheaper is getting worse <laughs> cheaper is cheaper cheaper is better cheaper is easier cheaper is more customer friendly hello guys welcome to the channel in case you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is Boinda. I'm a Nigerian-based YouTuber. About a month or two months ago, I posted a video here on YouTube on my channel about how to use the cheaper app because as we all know, there's been a ban or a restriction on Naira debit cards in Nigeria. You need an alternative or you need to get a virtual dollar card to make transactions on international websites. So after I uploaded that video, the video blew up and I got a lot of questions, so many questions, people wanting to know what to do on the Cheaper Cash app. This video is not sponsored, Cheaper did not contact me in any way, it's fully from my experience with Cheaper as I shop on international websites like AliExpress, Shein. So let's just get right into these questions. In case you see me looking down, I'm trying to read out the questions before I answer them. So the first question is, please, how many days does it take for the money to send to your cheaper wallet from your local bank? Is it immediately? It's immediately. Highest time it takes for money to be reflected in your cheaper cash wallet is five minutes. Once you transfer money, you get it either within the first, second, third, fourth minute, maximum the fifth minute. That's how long it takes for money to be transferred from your Nigerian bank account to your cheaper cash app wallet. And this video I'm talking about, if you've not seen it, I'm going to link it up here in the card. You might want to go and watch it before coming back to watch this video. The second question is, will this work on the Patreon app? yes it can work on the patreon app and the next person asked i just got the cheaper cash app and it keeps telling me that new account sign up is temporarily unavailable please what do i do now there's a lot of pressure a lot of influx of people downloading cheaper cash app a lot of new people using the cheaper cash app so they are a bit overwhelmed so there is always maintenance going on. If I check my cheaper cash app now, I'm sure they are messaging me that, please, sorry about this, please, sorry about that. So at that time, when this person sent this message, the sign up was temporarily unavailable. But I'm sure a day later or some minutes later, that was fixed. So from time to time, there are issues that keep coming up because of the so much pressure. The pressure on cheaper is getting worse. <laughs> but they are very fast their maintenance team does an amazing job so even if they are having an issue this minute the next minute they are good i introduced my colleague to the cheaper app and the last time he wanted to install the cheaper app on his phone he couldn't use his phone number to register so he had to use his email but today if i want to register i can use my phone number at some point of people were complaining that on the cheaper app he was telling them insufficient balance even if they had money on their virtual dollar card but today that has been fixed two days ago i was trying to order something for my sister and it says that i can add funds to my virtual usd card from my wallet but a day later it was already fixed so if you're having issues with the app just be patient their maintenance team does an amazing job so they will fix it the next question says thanks for the video my verification is rejected any help this i already answered this in the previous question if there is any problem you can just message them or just be patient a bit and it will be fixed so the next person says cheaper cash exchange rate is mad yes cheaper cash app uses black market rate and not cbn rate as at today as at this moment the exchange rate for the cheaper cash app is 800 naira to one dollar so if you're shopping for something that is three dollars you have to multiply three by 800 which is 2400 naira but the cbn which is the normal wanda rate is 460 naira to one dollar the next person says that if i buy from aliexpress will i pay custom duty charges please 
which charges will i pay to get my delivery successfully is there any you do not need to pay any custom duty charges on aliexpress the highest you can get to pay is shipping fee and a number of items on aliexpress are actually free shipping but if the stuff you want to get has a shipping fee then you have to pay the shipping fee but customs charge custom duty charge and all of that you have no business with that the next question says please i want to order phones from aliexpress is it safe how do i go about it you can order for virtually anything from aliexpress aliexpress is very safe especially if you're doing it the normal way i made a comprehensive video on how to shop on aliexpress if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it in the card right now please go and watch it that video gives safety measures on how to shop on aliexpress i've heard of some cases where someone said he or she was duped because he or she sent money to a seller on the contact seller section and all of that i've never encountered that and i shop on aliexpress almost on a monthly basis so my point is go and watch that video and you'll see how to make payment aliexpress is very safe there is no duping you can order for phone you can order for tv you can order for anything on aliexpress the next question why is mine saying you've passed your limit when i try ordering on aliexpress so this is a cheaper cash app issue at that time i'm sure if you want to order now it won't say that the next question says for aliexpress will they deduct the money in naira or in dollars from your cheaper account so the cheaper cash app deducts your money in dollars because aliexpress operates primarily in dollars yes they will convert what the dollar equivalent of the amount is to you in naira but you just make your payment on aliexpress in dollars so the cheaper cash app has a naira segment but the virtual usd card you're using to make payments on aliexpress is in usd is in dollars so they will deduct in dollars the same person has a question saying secondly can opening a domiciliary account and getting a dollar card work too what are the limitations please i just want to know if there are other alternatives of course there are other alternatives you can open a dom account and request for a card for your dom account and use it to shop there are no limitations it's just going to work as fine as using a cheaper virtual usd card to make transactions on international websites the next question is what is the maximum purchase amount this card can handle can i buy products worth 120 dollars yes you can buy a product worth 120 dollars the maximum daily spend limit on the cheaper cash app is 1000 dollars while the maximum monthly spend limit on the cheaper cash app is 5000 dollars the next question says i want to pay for a device it costs 103,000 naira on aliexpress but on its dollar it costs 223 dollars with a cheaper rate that's about 169,000 naira if i fund my account on the cheaper cash app with the former naira amount equivalent to dollar will aliexpress deduct 103,000 or 170k so this is a long question but it's a good question and it's a practical question what aliexpress has is the normal rate if there were no restrictions on the naira debit card so before this whole restriction started i used to use my dt bank app or my access bank app to make international transactions on websites like aliexpress see that amount that aliexpress puts on their page is what they just removed so gt would just take like a bank charge of maybe 200 naira gt was the cheapest at the time but access bank was very expensive whenever i use my access bank to shop on aliexpress they take an, a bank charge of almost 800 naira as opposed to the 200 naira that gt bank takes so cheaper cash app uses black market rate which i said earlier is 800 naira per dollar 
but if it was CBN rate, that if we didn't have the restriction, it was going to be 416 naira per dollar. So the cheaper cash app is going to deduct 170k and not 103,000. If it was the CBN rate, if our naira debit cards were working, that's when they would take 103,000. But cheaper app is not using CBN rate. Cheaper app is using black market rate. So it's the 169k, that's about 170k that cheaper cash app is going to take. The next question says, what if I'm buying from different stores on AliExpress and I want it to be in the same parcel? How am I going to do it? I did an AliExpress call on my channel. If you've not watched the video again, I'm going to link it up here in the card. Please go and watch it. Most of the items I did a haul on in that video came as a combined package. They came like in groups. Like there could be a group of 18, there could be a group of 9 like that. And this happened because I made my orders on the same day. My answer to this question before now was going to be that you should try and make all your orders in one day. And most of them will come as a combined package. But in the past one or two weeks, I've been making others, I've been making them on the same day and they've not been combining it. There's not really hard and fast rule about this. Sometimes when we combine, sometimes it might not be combined. AliExpress usually does single, single delivery. Even as they are combined, they wrap it singly, but they put it in a whole big bag. So you can just make your orders and collect it one one. Maybe you'll be putting it in a box in your house until everything comes. So the next question is, sorry. Nigerians are saying sorry before saying anything. Sorry, please, do I talk? Sorry, does AliExpress debit the exact Naira cost it shows on the app? Yes, AliExpress is supposed to debit the exact Naira it shows on the app. But because of the issues we have in Nigeria, AliExpress does not work with the normal Naira debit card. So we have to use cheaper or other apps that can give you a virtual dollar card. So this doubles the price of what is seen on AliExpress. But if we were using a normal Naira debit card, it was going to be the same and maybe an extra 200 Naira, 50 Naira, 100 Naira bank charge. So the next question is, what is the standard extra bank charges or is it depending on the amount you're paying? It does not depend on the amount you're paying. Even if you're ordering for something really expensive and you're ordering for something that is maybe one dollar or two dollars it's going to be the same bank charge that was when our naira debit card was working on international website but on the cheaper cash app they don't take any charge it's just the black market rates that they use to convert the dollar amount seen on aliexpress so cheaper cash app doesn't take any bank charges or any charges for making payments on international websites. The next question is, can I transfer from POS machine to my cheaper account because my bank account doesn't bring the account name? As I said, cheaper is going through different maintenance time by time, day by day. So before now, when I opened the cheaper cash app earlier, you wouldn't see their bank. So the bank cheaper cash app uses is the nine payment service bank if i'm using my gt bank app to transfer money into my cheaper cash app wallet the nine payment service bank doesn't pop up among the list of banks except i type it but recently that has been sorted out once you put in your cheaper cash app account number the name of the bank is going to pop up so they keep going through maintenance time to time and making their app even better and easier to use for us then after the first use, after the first transfer you do into your cheaper cash app account number or account detail, you can just save your cheaper cash app as a beneficiary so that you don't have to be typing it in every time you want to make an international transaction because that's what I did and makes it easy for me anytime I want to transfer money to my cheaper cash app wallet. So the next question is, cheaper has been rejecting my DVM. Any other option than the cheaper cash app? Yes, there are other options, but that was at that time. 
I told you that they keep improving the app. I think it's because they are overwhelmed by the air mass influx of people into the cheaper app. But sure, right now, they are not rejecting anyone's BVN. But there are other options. I hear the Payday app is also good. And I also hear a lot by Wema is also good. I'm going to make a video about this two virtual USD card too soon. Cheaper is the best amongst all of these apps that issue virtual USD cards. So the next question is, what about the Payday virtual card? Yeah, I'm going to do a video about the Payday virtual USD card soon. So you want to do well to hit the subscribe button right now, subscribe to this channel so you can stay tuned for whenever I post a video about the Payday app. So the next question is that cheaper rate is 775 Naira per dollar. Yes, maybe the, when the person checked this, when the person posted this question or posted this statement, it was 775 Naira, but as of today, it is 800 Naira per dollar. The next question is, how do I use my debit card to pay AliExpress? If you mean your Naira debit card, you cannot use your Naira debit card to pay on AliExpress, if that's what you mean. Go back and watch my cheaper cash app video to know how to make payments on AliExpress while bad boy cutting the debit card. So the next question is that cheaper and payday, which is better and cheaper? Cheaper is cheaper, cheaper is better, cheaper is easier, cheaper is more customer friendly. I would always choose cheaper over payday over a lot by Wema any day, anytime. Cheaper should come and sign me, or cheaper should come and give me my money because I'm preaching their gospel. <laughs> so this person says, but dollar is 461 Naira now. Yes, dollar is actually 460 Naira CBM rate, but that's not what Cheaper Cash App is going to make transaction with for you on international website. Cheaper Cash App is not going to be using the CBN bank rate, but their 800 Naira per dollar rate. The next question is, I've registered, but I lost my main SIM. Can I add another phone number for verification? Yes. You can add another phone number, you can add your email, you can add your BVN, you can add your driver's license, you can add whatever means of identification you have. Cheaper is very user friendly and they are always down to accept whatever you have to make payment on the app. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I've answered your question. If you have more questions, about the cheaper cash app even after answering all these you can drop them down in the comment section best believe i'm going to answer almost immediately i see these questions like this video comment leave your comment leave your questions and subscribe to my channel to get more premium content like this until my next video bye